Okay, this is part one, or part two actually, of creating a card with Inkscape, a Christmas card with Inkscape. And what we're going to do today is the first part, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up your document. And then the second part, I'm going to show you how to draw a Christmas tree ornament. Okay, so let's begin by setting up our document first. What we want to do is we want to come over to File. Uh, to document properties and then we want to change it to letter and portrait okay but then we also want to come in here and change this to inches and change this to inches as well and uh, we want to show guides and uh, let's also make snap points to guides and that should be good Okay, let's close this. Okay, as you can see, my document is set up here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a guide out to the middle of the page. And let's zoom in here. Change this. Move this a little bit. Now to do a guide, you simply come over to the ruler here, click, hold down your mouse button, and you can drag it out. And you can see once it's blue, and then once it's red, you can drag it back. Okay, so let's do this. And you can see there's my document, and this is going to be our fold. Okay. Now I'm going to quick save this as page one. And save. Okay. Now our document is set up. So now what we need to do is we need to go back in and create a Christmas tree ornament. Now the first part I'm going to show you how to do the basic shape of the ornament and it's really quite simple and this is a lesson in how in a way in how to draw. When you look at something what you want to do is you want to break it down into its constituent shapes okay so now I'm just gonna go for your basic spherical Christmas tree ornament that's shiny okay and um, I think actually I have one here um, yep there it is right there so let's open that okay so here's our Here's our Christmas tree ornament. We're going to make one just like this. Okay, and so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to ungroup it. And um, and ungroup it again. So you can kind of look at its constituent parts. And because some of them are white, what I'll do is I'll make a, a, a grayish box here. And that way we can move them in. So there's a star. What I'm doing here is I'm just pushing this gray box all the way to the bottom. And then we've got this shape here. And this shape here. This shape here. This shape here. This shape here. And this shape here. So in all it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shapes. Okay, not too bad. So let's um Let's take a couple of these and make them a darker so that you can actually see them. And I can put them back over here. Okay, and let's get rid of this. So what we want to start with first is a circle. So we come over here and we make our circle by holding down the control key and pulling it out. Okay, so there's our circle. And now what we want to do is fill that circle but I'm not going to use the same color here. I'm going to use a different color, like purple. So there's a nice purple color. Okay. And then we're going to come up here. And we're going to change the fill in the stroke. And of course you have to have a, a, a radial stroke, radial gradient. But this has to be flipped around. So 
we're going to need to edit it. Okay, so there's our first stop, and there's our second stop. Okay, we're going to go to our first stop, and we're going to make this white. Okay, the alpha channel is already there. Now we're going to go to our second stop, and keep this as a purple, but it has to get rid of. We have to change the opacity so it's solid. And you can see there it is right there now. So that's done, and we can close this. And we can close this as well, but now we have to come over here and do our gradient tool because we really need to pull this down. Even a mine over here, this isn't really where it should be. It should be further down like this. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to change that stroke to not something that's so thick. So we're going to go to stroke style and... Oh, it doesn't let us doesn't give us very much here. I'll set that to a point three. Okay, and then I'm gonna close this. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to make this top silver part. Okay? And so that's just a square. I start with a square and I drag it across until uh, that looks good. We can even change this a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to line it up. Okay. Now if we wanted to, we could align this up properly here. Align and distribute. And there we go. So that's lined up. Okay, then we want it to look like this. So what we have to do is we have to change object or path, object to path. And then we grab this tool here. Okay, and then we click here. And we want to add a node. Okay. So what we want to do here is we want to come over here. i got to zoom in here first. Hold on. Okay, so here it is. So we come over and take our node tool and then click on this. But you can see this kind of is symmetrical. I think that's the word. So what we want to do is make this a corner. And now you can see we can actually come down and, and reshape these the way we want them. Okay, and then we also need to do it for this here. We need to pull this down. Okay, so there's that. And now we need to fill this properly. And that's generally easy because that is a simple uh, radial gradient. And it's actually a linear gradient. It's a white and a, and a gray, basically. And then you just use it reflected now. For some reason my master opacity down here is in 100, so we got to change that. Okay, so now we come over here and we do this, and watch what you'll see what happens. Okay, so it's kind of shiny there. Okay, and that looks shiny now. Okay, that's that part. And so now we need to make this ellipse here, and that's pretty much pretty easy. Okay. Okay. And then we just go back to object, fill in stroke. Again, the radial. And we change this to this one and put reflected. Okay. Then we come up here. And you want this one to be slightly different than the one below it. Okay. So that's like that. Okay. See, see? And we're going to zoom out. And there's that part. Okay, I'm going to stop this now uh, because I can only do them for so long. And um, then in the second part, I'll show you how to finish it off.